Hello and welcome to Traffic Travis version 4. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the SEO section in Traffic Travis. The SEO section is designed to aid you with identifying how you rank in the search engine results, identifying your competitors and what they're doing to beat you, identifying who is linking to you, and figuring out other sites that you can use to get backlinks. To use the SEO tab, open Traffic Travis and click on SEO in the top tab bar. By default, the SEO tab will show the ranking section. In order to use the ranking section of the SEO tab, you need to make one of your projects active. To do this, select a project from the drop-down menu at the top right-hand corner of your screen or by clicking Make Active underneath the project name on your dashboard. The ranking section shows how your site ranks for each of your keywords in each of the search engines you've added to your project. You can see which search engine the result is coming from in the search engine column. To figure out which country the search engine is based in, hold your mouse over the flag icon. The next column, Rank, will show you your placement when a search is done for that keyword. For example, if you're listed as number one for a specific keyword, that means you're at the top of the search engine results placement for that keyword. If you're number eight, you are eighth in the search engine results placement. Traffic Travis will only show your rank if you're ranking in the top 10, otherwise it will show a dash next to your ranking. If your ranking has improved since the last time Traffic Travis checked your rankings, then you'll see a green up arrow next to the rank. If your rankings have gone down since the last check, then Traffic Travis will show a red down arrow. If your rankings have not changed, Traffic Travis will show a light blue dash. The next column shows what your rankings for each keyword were the last time your rankings were checked. The top column shows the highest ranking Traffic Travis has ever detected for your site. The best page column shows which page from your site ranks the highest in the search engine results. If your website appears in the search rankings multiple times for the same keyword, then Traffic Travis will show you the rankings for your topmost page. The final column in the SEO rankings section is the ranking history. If you click on View, Compare, you will bring up a window, listing your project search engines on the left and your project keywords on the right. This is going to show a graph of either how one keyword has changed placement in multiple search engines over time, or how multiple keywords have changed placement in a specific search engine over time. For example, if you select just one of your keywords from the right column and multiple keyword search engines from the left column and click OK, Traffic Travis will draw a graph showing you how that keyword has changed ranks in the different search engines. If you want to save a PDF report of this graph, click on Save at the bottom of the graph or Close to close the graph. If you go back into the View Compare window and select a single search engine from the left column and multiple keywords from the right column and click OK, Traffic Travis will draw a graph showing you how those keywords have changed rank in the single search engine over time. If you want to save a PDF report of that graph, click on Save at the bottom of the graph or Close to close the graph. To filter your main ranking results, you can click on the blue filter icon in the top right of your results. From here, you can choose to only show pages with specific ranks or keywords with specific text, etc. To clear a filter, delete the contents of the text box next to that filter. To save a report of your rankings, you can export a PDF by clicking on the PDF button in the data options below your results. Alternatively, you can use the CSV option to export a CSV table, which can be exported into a program such as Excel at a later time. That's all for the rankings part of the SEO tab. However, the competition section is the powerhouse of the SEO tab. It will show you your competition and what they're not doing that you could be doing to beat them in the search rankings. To begin using the competition section, click on the keywords box under competition. As normal, Traffic Travis will suggest the keyword list from your project if you have one selected. Once you have the keywords you wish to check, click on OK, then click Fetch. We'll come back to the advanced settings shortly. Traffic Travis will retrieve the statistics for your keywords. The first column, Keyword, shows which keyword the statistics correspond to. The next column, Difficulty, shows how difficult Traffic Travis has assessed that it would be to get the first position on the search engine results for each keyword. The next column, Page Rank, shows the average and median page rank of the top 10 search results for this keyword. The Backlinks Per Page column shows the average and median number of backlinks each page in the top 10 search results for this keyword has. 
The backlinks per site column shows the average and median backlinks each site in the top 10 search results has. The SERPs column shows the total number of search results that Google United States says are returned for this keyword. For now, your in anchor and in title columns are filled with dashes. We'll come back to these. Now comes the really nifty part of the SEO competition section. If you click on View Details in the Report column, Traffic Travis will show you the top 10 websites from the search results for your specific keyword. These websites are your competition, and Traffic Travis is showing you how you can beat them. In the first column is the URL of the page that actually shows up in the search engine result. The next column shows the page rank of that page. The next column is the page authority calculations from SEO MOZ. The BL and BLS columns are the backlinks to the page and the backlinks to the entire site, respectively. The TBL column is the number of backlinks from trusted domains, such as .edu and .gov sites. Now here's the really useful stuff. The next four columns show you whether a competitor is listed in the DMOZ and whether the keyword shows up in the page's title tag, meta description, or the H1 tag. If your competitors are missing any of these aspects and you can fix these on your site, you can probably beat out your competitors. To save this SEO competition report, click on Save to create an HTML report or click Close to close the window. Back in your main competition results, you can filter your results by clicking on the blue filter icon in the top right corner of your results. You can filter by any of the columns shown, such as by specific words in the keyword column, by the average and median page rank or backlinks, and so on. To clear a filter, click on the text box next to the specific filter. To save a report of your results, you can use the Data Options toolbar below your results. To save a PDF report, click on the PDF button. Alternatively, you can save a CSV table to later import your results into a program such as Excel. Note that any effect your filters have on your results will also affect the results that are saved in your PDF and CSV files. Let's take another look at the Advanced Fetch settings for the Competition tab. To access the Advanced Settings, click on Advanced Settings underneath the Fetch button. From here, you have a few options to customize the search results Traffic Travis gives you when it retrieves its data. The first is Country Location. This will affect the count for search engine results placements based on the number of search results for a specific keyword for that country. You can also choose to search the top 20 results instead of the top 10. This will affect the calculations for median and average backlinks and page rank, and will also show you the top 20 competitors instead of just the top 10 when you view details for specific keywords. The in title and in anchor fields allow you to perform a search using your keywords to find out how many sites use the keyword in their page titles and in anchor text in their pages. These searches are slightly slower, so they're disabled by default, but if you want to turn them on, just tick next to each of them. If you've changed the advanced settings, you'll need to refetch your results. To do so, click on Fetch and wait for Traffic Travis to return your results. And that's the competition part of the SEO section, which leads us to the backlinks section. The backlinks section of the SEO tab identifies the major backlinks to your site and pages within your site. To use the backlinks section, click on the SEO tab, then click on backlinks. To analyze the backlinks for one or more pages, click on the pages to analyze text box and enter each page line by line. If you would like to reconfigure the advanced settings, click on advanced settings below the analyze button. From here, you can choose which details about each backlink you'd like to retrieve, including page rank of the backlink, Alexa rank, page authority, IP address, and external count. The external count is how many external links are on that page. You can also choose which sources you'd like to use for retrieving your backlinks. By default, Traffic Travis is set up to use the top 1,000 results from SEO MOZ, but you can also choose to use Yahoo's site directory or data from the Bleco search engine. Once you've done this, click on Analyze once you've chosen your options, or left the advanced settings at the defaults, click on OK, then on the Analyze button. Traffic Travis will then, by default, pull in the top 1,000 backlinks from SEO MOZ, start pulling in backlink data for each page you've chosen to analyze. Once Traffic Travis has its results, it will show you the backlink URL. To visit the URL, double-click on it and open it in your browser. You can also see the page authority from SEO MOZ, page rank, Alexa rank, external count, and the anchor text for the link. 
Traffic Travis will also show a tick if the link is a follow link and a cross if the link is a no follow link. To filter your results, click on the blue filter icon at the top right of your results. Here, you can filter based on specific keywords in the anchor text or URL, or by specific page rank, Alexa rank, external count, and page authority values. To save a report of your results, you can use the Data Options toolbar below your results. To save a PDF report, click on the PDF button. Alternatively, you can save a CSV table to later import your results into a program such as Excel. Note that any effect your filters have on your results will also affect the results that are saved in your PDF and CSV files. To view your backlinks from a different perspective, you can use the Site Breakdown part of the Backlink section. Click on Site Breakdown below the Analyze button. The Site Breakdown section gives you a general overview about your backlinks, including your most common anchor text, the most common page rank of the sites linking to you, the most commonly shared IP addresses of sites linking to you, and the most common top-level domain of the domains that are linking to you. Finally, the Overview section shows you the Page Per View overview about backlinks. The page you've chosen to analyze is shown in the Page column. The next column, Page Backlink Count, shows data about that specific page. The link subcolumn shows you how many backlinks the page has. The domain subcolumn shows how many domains these links come from. The IP subcolumn shows you how many unique IP addresses these domains are based on. And the edu slash gov column shows you how many of your backlinks are from .edu or .gov domains. The site backlink count has the same subcolumns, showing the same data but for the whole site in general. To filter your results, click on the blue filter icon at the top right of your results. Here, you can filter based on specific words in the page URL or by any of the values for the site or page. To save a report of the overview, you can use the Data Options toolbar below the page listing. To save a PDF report, click on the PDF button. Alternatively, you can save a CSV table to later import your results into a program such as Excel. Note that any effect your filters have on your results will also affect the results that are saved in your PDF and CSV files. The Backlink section of Traffic Travis, in turn, has its own subsections. The final section of Traffic Travis's SEO tab is the Link Finder tool. This tool is designed to intelligently locate places where you can get backlinks to your site. For example, by leaving a useful comment on a blog or forum, by guest posting on a website, or by submitting to a directory or other resource. To begin, add keywords by clicking on the Keywords box. If you have a project active, Traffic Travis will automatically suggest your project keywords. These keywords will be used to help identify relevant sites in your niche. To change advanced settings, click on Advanced Settings below the Fetch button. From here, you can choose the types of sites Traffic Travis will look for, including blogs and forums, which country it will try and locate them in, and whether it will only search for .edu and .gov sites. Traffic Travis also gives a warning that it's highly recommended you use multiple proxies for this section of Traffic Travis, as running this tool can cause quite a high chance of getting temporarily blocked by Google. When you're ready to begin, click on Fetch. Once Traffic Travis has results, it will show the URL of a site in the suggested URL column. To open the URL, you can double-click on it. The Query column will show you the type of link the site is. The Keyword column shows which keyword the link is relevant to. Page Authority and Page Rank shows how much authority and page rank the links have respectively. Finally, External Count shows how many pages the link links outward to. Too high a count means the page is probably not very good, since it will be filled with too many links to get very much page rank from. As usual, to filter your results, click on the blue filter icon at the top right of your results. Here, you can filter based on specific words in the page URL, by the query type, or by any of the values of the page. To save a report of all the potential places you can get backlinks, you can use the Data Options toolbar below the page listing. To save a PDF report, click on the PDF button. Alternatively, you can save a CSV table to later import your results into a program such as Excel. Note that any effects your filters have on your results will also affect the results that are saved in your PDF and CSV files. And that's it for the SEO tab. It contains a lot of useful tools, so we hope you'll make the full use of it. Thanks for watching!